Hello friend, today I brought something inter interesting for you that is Graph API from Microsoft. Using that we can uh, do some multiple oper uh, operation from AZ Azure directory. Uh, that we can get the user information, we can get all users in the tenant and we can all get all the licenses whatever available and we can manipulate some uh, changes there using our gra graph API and also we can get uh, uh, count of all users, all us related users we can get the information. So that is very uh, <coughs> difficult to get information because of uh, Azure permission and uh, you have you don't have any idea about Azure. So this API bring uh, something interesting for those who bring uh, who deals with only API and uh, know only Power Platform and doesn't know the Azure. So we will create some uh, Power Automate flow to uh, extract the user all user from the tenant and we will add those user in uh, Microsoft Excel online file. So let's start creating the Power Automate flow and first I will create hit the uh, flow button I will create, create instant flow I will uh, just give it name graph API users okay I will click on uh, HTTP. So, whatever we request from uh, Graph API will be the HTTP request. So, I will click on this one. First, let me just uh, quickly introduce the Microsoft Graph API. Okay, just allow a minute. So, this is the Graph API. You can go here by uh, Google Graph API Microsoft and you will click on this button and just you need to click on the Graph Explorer. And now, after that, uh, without any winner sign in, you can get a sim sample of data here. And now, uh, if you want to sign in with your tenant ID or organization ID, you can sign it up. I have already signed up, so uh, there are so many operations pre uh, defined API, to you, so you can use one of any of them. Uh, so suppose uh, I will click on my profile, it will uh, I will hit on run query. It will uh, bring some my, my my profile here, and if you know about the API, we have some multiple option uh, method available: get, post, put, fetch, and delete. So all action you can put. See here, you can go by one by one from yourself. I will just uh, uh, I will just uh, use one option here. So what I will do? I just uh, go to the user action, and I will just. Uh, see the count of the users in my tenant so i will just i click on i will i will hit on this button i will just click on run query and it will bring up all the users count of the my user so right now i have i do i do have only four users available so it get give me the four count you can get all the users in organization here see when i click uh, run query it fed all the user in my directory. Uh, these are the parameters available in this uh, Azure API. You can uh, you can uh, customize that according to your need. Uh, suppose I just create, I just need some three parameters. So I will hit on uh, question mark. So maybe so I am just telling this to you because this is only for Power Platform video. But I'm telling you this, so you should uh, you get you get guys have an idea about how Graph API work. So uh, I will hit on, and if you know about the uh, API or attribute, you all, all you will uh, easily get this. So just I will select, I will put the select query. Okay, what I will select? I will select ID. Press tab, comma. I will. Uh, also, this, uh, what I will, what parameter I need, I will select ID, email ID, user principal name, and I need full name. So display name will be the full name. So ID, user principal, second parameter, and third parameter will be display name. So I just want these three parameters. You can also get uh, uh, add some more parameter as you uh, want, as your per need. I will hit a query. 
so see uh, all uh, details are here with three parameters id user principal and display name so here you can uh, get the uh, data using api so this api works we will copy this api and we will go to our power automate flow where we are we were creating the flow we will use get method we will hit the end a uh, url of that api okay now here are some uh, point you need to uh, give so if you are getting uh, working with the organization you should have some uh, details available that tenant id or ds id client id and secret id okay 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 for now uh, i have just uh, copy paste these uh, details from my azure directory because this is not this is not video for a graphic api completely i will make separate video for that uh, graph api with how we can connect with your azure directory we can get the details from tenant and client id and secret id i will make a separate video for that no worry so we have now created our http connection so now i will uh, so this will be in uh, http response i will get uh, those response in json format first json format this will be json format so uh, what i will do i just uh, copy this all whatever response here same format i want so body will be from this id http i will just click create the sample code here from this code i copied from this one and i will click on done now i have response in my json format so what i will do now next i will do apply to each so we want to add uh, those response in excel sheet so we will click on apply button and we will take the response json value okay okay so now we will add a uh, excel sheet where we want to add the uh, responses so this will be excel online so add a row into i will type add row into table so this will be the correct one add row into table excel online so which uh, sheet you want to select so now we will create a excel file create excel file where we will receive our e responses from the graph api so uh, email first column will be email second full name and third will be id so this is, these are the parameter we have selected in api so i will create a table without any table without table you cannot uh, do any operation in power automation flow the excel sheet Uh, should have a table available so if i will click here so if uh, um, i i have some header available for name email and full name id so uh, i will click on for table if i ha i have header available i will click on this check box if not i will just simply click on okay button then that will already automatically create the table to those column which i have selected so i have already i have three columns selected i already i have the header available so i will click on this button it will automatically create a table for me so without and without any table you cannot do any operation in the power recruitment flow so this is very uh, this is mandatory and you need, you should have uh, keep it the same in your mind so i will just quickly give the name to this table uh, excel sheet graph api uh, test okay so we will uh, we will go to that flow we will select the location in this business and like the library will be the one drive and what is the name of our file whatever file are available will be listed here you need to select the your correct one graph api testing and you need to yes here you need to select the table it a file can have multiple tables available as we uh, have multiple sheets available in excel okay so 
when you select the table it will fetch the uh, table and see we have three columns available in that table right so what what my the power automate flow uh, uh, recognize them and fetch here so we will we will get the easy transformation here to what to do so email will be uh, user principal from this is these all are coming from uh, json format and full name will be the display name and id will be the id we will put some uh, variables from json format to this so what it will do it will uh, get some data from all the data from uh, azure directory using graph api it will convert uh, uh, response, that response in json format and then it will get that response in the excel sheet okay now let uh, let's do it and test it uh, just saving it after that i will uh, trigger it manually so i will test it click on manually it is testing our connection so first it will test connection whatever we have made in excel online okay so whatever connection you have made in this work permit you will uh, get to sign in here automatically it will sign in when you click on uh, when you click here or you create the file so that it will show the connection we need to continue it and the flow so uh, our flow is running so let's uh, see here what if these option are already done this is uh, doing now, now it is also done and your flow is successfully done so let's check responses in excel sheet see whatever we have done whatever uh, responses or users available in azure directory already are coming in that excel sheet let's quickly verify this that all are okay so we have uh, we received four emails from uh, graph api this power platform let's check in azure uh, directory whatever are count so first check we will count okay count the user in your tenant we have four user over that is correct and all the user we will get okay i will just quickly select id display name and user principal So one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. So we have verified. We have received correct data. So that is how we can create a Power Automate flow, and we can create, we can connect, and we can use Graph API in Power Automate flow. Get the response in uh, JSON format, and we can save uh, that responses in our Excel sheet in online. So in this video, we have learned Graph API. we have learned how we can convert that graph api into response flow in json and we have learned how we can create those responses and we can save response in an uh, excel sheet also we have created excel sheet in online so that is very good thing we learned today so in this video that is enough for me my side and let's meet in another video with something interesting and please subscribe and like the video and subscribe my channel Thank you